Retromers and stuff. Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Temkin, a postdoctoral fellow at Stanford University in the lab of Dr. Robert Malenka. I'm going to briefly discuss my recent paper, The Retromer Supports Amperoceptor Trafficking During LTP, published in Neuron in April of 2017. In this paper, we manipulate VPS35, a key component of the Retromer endosomal sorting complex, which has been found to malfunction in cases of both Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. Storing and recalling complex experiences and ideas requires changes in the behavior of groups of neurons. While interactions between these ensembles of neurons are complex and allows us to store amazingly detailed information, it is alterations in the individual interactions between the cells of the brain generally neurons, which allows this. Neurons transmit information directionally as electrical signal from the dendrite to the soma to the axon, and then as a chemical signal from the axon of one cell to the dendrite of the next cell, basically a cellular game of telephone. Magnify. The connection between the axon on one neuron and dendrite on another neuron is called a synapse. The synapse converts electrical flow into chemicals, which are released from the presynaptic side. On the postsynaptic side, these chemicals are turned back into an electrical signal by amperoceptors, shown here in blue. Just like a politician on the <laughs> phone, the neuron can adjust the volume depending on how important they think the caller is. At a synapse, this volume control can be accomplished by altering the number of amperoceptors, which pick up the chemical signal. This paper is all about a mechanism used to turn that volume up, called long-term potentiation and how it might go awry in disease. Unmagnify. A real neuron, here an example is shown expressing a fluorescent synaptic marker, has thousands of synapses, which can be made stronger or weaker. Magnify. These individual synapses appear as green balls as we zoom in. Again, just like a politician, decision-making for a neuron is tough and can only be accomplished if the cell can correctly identify important inputs. Otherwise, it just makes a mess. In neurodegenerative diseases, neurons are thought to fail to regulate their synaptic strength correctly, resulting in inefficient storage and recall of memories. Magnify. In this study, we chose to investigate the role of a protein complex, the retromer, in long-term potentiation as work from other labs has indicated that changes in expression and function of the retromer are linked to cases of both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. So what does the retromer do? The early endosome where the retromer works is an internal organelle responsible for routing transmembrane proteins to other organelles where they can either function or are destroyed. As most membrane in the early endosome comes from the cell surface, Early endosomes return most of the membrane, and also cargo in that membrane, back from whence it came. However, certain protein cargo, like amperoceptors, need to go different places. The emerging view of the retromer is that it forms a stable platform which supports protein sorting and specialized transit out of the endosome. In this paper, we discover that when you deplete the retromer, similar to what occurs in Alzheimer's disease, the synapse acts normally at resting state. You can even still turn the volume down, but the cell can no longer turn the volume up at the synapse by inserting amperoceptors. We next tested whether this block was dependent on A-beta, a protein which accumulates in Alzheimer's disease and is thought to be causal. Retromer depletion is thought to increase A-beta production, and A-beta application can have deleterious effects on synaptic function. However, taking A-beta production away doesn't change our results. Lastly, we also find that if you replace the retromer protein with a mutant version found in Parkinson's patients, the system is broken in a similar way to depleting the protein. The upshot is, defects in retromer function cause synaptic changes which give a mechanism for memory malfunction in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. Further study will be needed to determine if fixing this retromer malfunction in disease models can prevent the symptoms of these debilitating diseases. Thanks for watching. Now back to work. I'm Robot Malenka, and I approve of this mustache. <laughs>
Stretch your mirrors and stuff.